It's a frozen world out there, and as the ice melts away, we're discovering incredible mysteries from our past. From mammoths to frozen lakes and even ancient civilization, the ice has kept many secrets for centuries. But what happens when we find creatures that are not only frozen in time, but also shrouded in mystery and legend? Woolly mammoths were a species of large, extinct elephants that lived during the last ice age, around 10,000 years ago. They were adapted to living in cold environments and had a shaggy coat of fur that helped keep them warm. Woolly mammoths were similar in size to modern-day elephants, but their tusks were longer and more curved. They also had a hump of fat on their backs which helped them to survive in cold environments by providing insulation and energy storage. These animals were herbivores and gazed on grasses, shrubs and other plants. They were well suited to life in the cold, dry tundra regions of the world, which provided them with plenty of food and water. Today, woolly mammoths are extinct, but their remains have been found in various parts of the world, including Siberia, Alaska, and Europe. Some of these remains have been so well preserved in ice that scientists have been able to extract DNA samples and attempt to clone these ancient creatures. There is ongoing debate among scientists and the public about the potential for reviving woolly mammoths through cloning or genetic engineering. Saber-toothed tigers, also known as saber-toothed cats, were a group of prehistoric carnivores that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, which lasted from around 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. These animals were characterized by their long curved canine teeth, which could be up to 7 inches long in some species. Saber-toothed tigers were not true tigers, but were a separate group of carnivores known as Machaerodons. They were widespread throughout the world during the Pleistocene and their fossils have been found in North America, Europe and Asia. These animals were apex predators, meaning that they were at the top of the food chain in their ecosystems. They likely hunted large herbivores, such as mammoths, bisons and horses using their long teeth to deliver a killing bite to the neck or throat of their prey. Despite their formidable appearance, saber-toothed tigers went extinct around 10,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climate change and competition with humans and other predators. However, their fossils and remains have provided valuable insights into the biology and behavior of these ancient carnivores. The Yukagir bison, also known as the steppe bison, was a subspecies of the extinct bison that roamed the grasslands of North America, Europe, and Asia during the Pleistocene epoch. The Yukagir bison was well adapted to life in cold, dry environments and had a shaggy coat of fur that helped keep it warm. These animals were herbivores and gazed on grasses, sedges, and other plants. They were similar in size to modern-day bison, with males weighing up to 2,000 pounds and standing up to 7 feet tall at the shoulder. The Yukagir bison was named after the Yukagir people, who inhabit the area of Siberia where the remains of these animals have been found. These remains have provided valuable insights into the biology and evolution of these ancient animals, as well as the environmental conditions in which they lived. The Yukagir bison went extinct around 10,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climate change and hunting by humans. However, their fossils and remains have helped scientists understand the history of these fascinating animals and their place in the ecosystem of the past.
giant ground sloths a group of large extinct sloths that lived during the Pleistocene epoch. These animals were widespread throughout the Americas and were adapted to living in a variety of habitats including grasslands, forests and deserts. There were several species of giant ground sloths with some growing up to 20 feet in length and weighing up to 8,000 pounds. Despite their large size, these animals were herbivores and fed on a diet of plants, including grasses, leaves, and fruits. Giant ground sloths were well suited to life on the ground, with strong muscular limbs and sharp claws that allowed them to dig for food and defend themselves against predators. They likely played an important ecological role in their ecosystems, helping to shape plant communities and provide food for other animals. Like many other large animals of the Pleistocene, giant ground sloths were extinct around 10,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climate change and hunting by humans. However, their fossils and remains have provided valuable insights into the biology and behavior of these ancient animals. The term frozen dragon is not a scientific term used to refer to any known or unknown animal. However, there were some cases of preserved remains of prehistoric animals that have been nicknamed as frozen dragon due to their dragon-like appearance. For example, in 2017, a group of Chinese researchers discovered the well-preserved dinosaur fossil that was nicknamed Frozen Dragon of the North. The dinosaur was identified as a new species of Oviraptorosaur, a group of bird-like theropod dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period. The fossil was found in the Gobi Desert in Inner Mongolia, and it was remarkably well-preserved with almost complete skeletons of three individuals. Similarly, in recent years, several well-preserved fossils of pterosaurs, a group of flying reptiles that lived during the Mesozoic era, have been discovered in various parts of the world. These fossils are sometimes referred to as frozen dragons due to their long, thin jaws and wings, which resemble the popular depictions of dragons in mythology. While these fossils provide valuable information about the diversity and evolution of prehistoric animals, they are not actually dragons and should not be confused with mythical creatures. It's an exciting time to be alive, as we explore the frontiers of science and uncover the mysteries of our world. Who knows what other incredible discoveries we'll make as we continue to explore the frozen wastelands of our planet. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.